Ching Lee was a Giga-based admiral in the USN, and he was given a job making sure that naval security was up to wartime standards, which he took to ridiculous degrees. He got a second desk, which he used exclusively to make increasingly ridiculous identity papers with shit like actresses and Axis leaders on it to try and sneak into naval facilities, including at least two tries where he dressed up in a Hitler mustache and got into secured facilities. Then the guys on security would get pulled into a meeting in front of their boss and would have to go through this humiliating conversation like, Hello Mr. Anon, I must say I am very flattered you think I'm so pretty. What do I mean? Oh, I walked right past you with an ID naming me as Rita Hayworth with a picture of her taken from a magazine. So either you think I'm as pretty as Rita Hayworth or you are failing to perform your duties as a guard. Which is it, Mr. Anon? It was during the end of the Cold War, but the whole Whiskey on the Rocks saga reads like a comedy rather than a serious international incident. From the Russians declaring that they had a crash due to equipment malfunctions after allowing Swedish naval officers to inspect their perfectly functional instruments, to the Swedes calling the Russians bluff and declaring the vessel salvage. Then getting so spooked, they launched two full squadrons of fighter bombers armed with ASMs who came moments away from engaging what turned out to be German freighters. Every time I read it, I can't help but smile. Never forget that started as a fist fight until some faggot yank MP shot an Aussie soldier dead. Maybe the Australians should have acted civilized instead of raging out like the simple animals they claim not to be. So you're defending the US heroes? The Australian women sure were.